Okay, so waxes are another type of lipid. And the essential structure of a wax is that it is a long chain fatty acid that is linked up with a long chain alcohol and they are linked up through an ester bond. So fatty acid um, links up with a long chain alcohol to form waxes. And of course a uh, really common wax that you've probably come across is beeswax. And so that is CH3 group um, on the end of the fatty acid, uh, 14 CH2 alkyl chain in the middle, bonded to a ester group. And then the long chain uh, alcohol actually has 29 CH2 alkyl groups. And then, of course, ending with the terminal CH3. Okay, so triglycerides, or also uh, triacyl glycerols, excuse me, triacyl glycerols, are another important type of lipid. Uh, they can basically be broken up into two uh, big categories, fats and oils. Now both uh, fats and oils essentially uh, start with a glycerol molecule. That is linked up to three fatty acids. Okay, so what is a glycerol molecule? Well, glycerol is basically a three carbon uh, molecule with uh, three alcohol groups on it. So we've got a three carbon molecule with three alcohol functional groups. And what happens is the uh, glycerol molecule will actually undergo an esterification reaction with uh, three fatty acids. So let's just take a very simple look at, say, acetic acid. Okay, and essentially what happens is this is a condensation reaction uh, between the fatty acids and the alcohol groups on the glycerol molecule. And so water molecule is removed from each of those uh, going to be newly joined ester bonds uh, to form the triacyl glyceride. And you can see where the name, the uh, prefix tri comes from is that glycerol is going to bond with three different uh, fatty acids. Okay, so what's going to happen is the uh, when we're going to condense these and through the condensation reaction or the, or the esterification reaction is that we're going to lose three waters and then this oxygen is going to be bonded to that carbon, that oxygen to that carbon, that oxygen to that carbon, which will make a triacyl glyceride. So if we keep with our uh, synthesis with just um, acetic acid, it would look something like this. Okay. 
And so that's a triacylglyceride. And so the triacylglyceride doesn't have to be formed with, with the same three fatty acids as I uh, showed in this case. They can be uh, produced with a mixture of one or two or three different fatty acids. And the composition and of the fatty acids that are on that triacylglyceride is what's going to distinguish a fat from an oil, primarily, or more importantly, the physical properties of those triacylglycerides is what's going to distinguish the uh, lipids as a fat or an oil. Okay, so here I have uh, two examples of triacylglycerides. One is a fat, one is an oil. And of course you can uh, already see the big difference is that this uh, oil has is um, unsaturated, whereas the fat is saturated. And uh, of course this is a oil with uh, cis uh, double bonds. And so the way to think about this is what um, basically the big difference between this is of course a fat is a solid at room temperature. And of course, an oil is a liquid at room temperature. Uh, so, uh, why are they different uh, phases at room temperature? Uh, well, of course, we know that the uh, phases of molecules are largely dictated by the intermolecular forces. So, what uh, intermolecular forces do they have? Well, they all have sort of dipole-dipole intermolecular forces because of the ester groups, um, the carbonyl here and then the oxygen here. Uh, so that would be a tie for both of them. And then, of course, their long chain of um, hydrocarbon chain is nonpolar, so all it has is dispersion forces. So the bigger difference is just essentially the shape. This uh, double bond on this oil uh, causes this sort of kink in this uh, in this chain of the hydrocarbon, whereas the saturated hydrocarbons are pretty much a straight chain. The triacylglycerides um, you know, for fats are able, therefore, to essentially stack up, and their dispersion forces make better connections between them, increasing the strength of their intermolecular forces, which takes more energy to uh, would would be to melt them. So it keeps them as a solid at room temperature. Since there's this cis double bond with uh, that essentially makes a kink in the chain, causes the triacylglycerides to not stack up as much, which decreases their intermolecular forces, causing them to be a liquid at room temperature. So the big difference between an oil and a fat is that oils are primarily uh, unsaturated, um, fatty acids with cis bonds and fats are primarily saturated fatty acids.